Hello guys, this is Rai from Rai Movie Productions again, doing another cool creations. Today we have a engine that was never seen in the railway series or television series. It's just my own mock. It's a black tank engine. And let's get to it. Okay, shall we? First, you're going to start off with the main section of the body. Uh, I decided to um, make it in chunks because it has so many pieces, even for a tank engine. Because it originally wasn't that detailed, but then I changed it. Okay, so you're going to start off with here, with this. You're going you're gonna to take two of these type of wheel sets and stick it underneath here. Okay. Then you're going to take these type of wheels and put it in the back, but not too but not too close and not too far away. Okay. And then you're going to stick the rear buffer with your coupling is. And also to note note to self that this isn't a real Lego coupling, just the design. Now we're going to use this is going to be one of the lamp irons. Stick it on right where this. Uh, okay. Now you're going to take the for first section of the boiler and stick it one, br one, uh, one brick away from there. Now the fun one is going to be tricky because I decided to do it a different way. I'm going to use one of these pieces. This piece with the hook, stick those two together, get one of the, the one by four plates, put the, put the cone shaped funnel on, and put the lamp upside down, and put this as a bell hanging from there. Okay. You stick it right here. Whoops. Okay. Um, it's a little, um, it's a little, uh, messed up, but it's all right. Oops. I expected that. It's probably because uh, there's like no elevation for that, so. Okay. Uh, this engine apparently has side plates, and I also built in some of the cap. This is a firebox onto that, and you just stick it right here on the side of the engine and stick it there. Now you're gonna take these off because it'll interfere with the uh, uh, side plates, but then you can stick it back on. It's a really tricky model. I mean, it's very hard to build with Legos. Um, stick this right. Sometimes it gets crooked. Okay. And you're going to have to uh, take this piece away, the top, and stick this on it, and then just place it flat right here. It's good. The, cow, uh, the, the roof is going to be sticking out a little bit. And this is where the dome and the tanks come in. This is a circular tank with the dome built onto it. And what you're gonna use is like a, d a dome shaped piece and a, and a cylinder piece for that. And to build a whistle, you use this that comes from a uh, one of those trucks that carry the, tr the cars. And then you're gonna need one of the black cylinders sticking into this type of piece. And then for the last, uh, detail. You're gonna need. Uh, you're gonna need to use this.
Oh wait, I just did a little mix up. It's not that much of a bad thing. this out this is, is a really tough model to make because sometimes things are going to be sticking out and you may you not know how to fix the end fix it or I know what I did And you know, it's supposed to be here. That's how you build a black tank engine. Um, also, I said that I was gonna use, I was gonna make Toad and maybe a troublesome truck for today, but I didn't. I decided to do this because it was never. In Thomas and Friends, but it was just interesting that I just had to do it. Uh, so I also have Thomas the breakdown train, James the troublesome truck, and Toad. And I said I was going to use Boko for one of them, but his model was scrapped. Okay, so thank you, Chef Ryan, again for another wonderful episode of Cool Creations with Chef Ryan. We're going to give one more look at this extraordinary train. It kind of almost has a Chuggington Old Puffer Peak feel to it. It seems so classic. It's a really extensive design, so it's recommended for somebody of a more experienced Lego. It's a good challenge. Uh, but Ryan was inspired to do his own train that uh, really has no connection. Oh, there it goes oh. the funnel. To the Thomas uh, world. Um, but that right there it just a lighter elevation for it really came out fantastic it really is so realistic and we'll just give it a final look around there's so many extensive detailing so much extensive detailing and once again a really great um a really great uh instructional video by chef ryan so thanks again chef and we'll see you next time for another episode of Cool Creations with Chef Ryan, where he'll be showcasing another Lego creation. Thanks, everyone. Have a good day.